Thank you for watching how to email your documents into Dotloop. I think this is a smooth and easy way if you're trying to get in the habit of making this fast and easy to create your loops with your documents that were hard copies to um, get it into the loop and be able to go quickly. Let's assume that you've scanned your documents from the, um, from the office, um, office copy machine to yourself. So you took your stack of documents, scan them to yourself, and they're sitting in your email, your personal email, such as Gmail, like mine are. In this email right here, it says documents, or this document here it usually has no subject line. And if you click on that, you've scanned these documents to yourself. So you know that attachment is your stack of documents, say 15 or 20 pages. And we just assume that that's sitting in our email. Now, on Keller Williams, to know where the email address is to scan into the, um, the dot loop email, you come right here to your MyKW homepage and click on the My Transactions plus sign. Go to your Transactions home. This is going to take you to your main dot loop homepage. Up here on the right, you'll see these two pieces of paper that when you hover over it says Templates. In your templates, if you click that and open it, you will see your personal dot loop email address. If you save this email address in your contacts, in your email system or on your phone, if you forward anything to this email address, it will come in and show up in this inbox in your templates in your dot loop, which means that that will be available for you to go ahead and move into a loop and use as documents. You can also create loops right from your inbox. A lot of people just forward those in so that when they're ready to create the loop, their documents are in there. So once we know our dot loop, personal dot loop email address, we can save that as a contact in our Gmail or whichever. And when we get our scanned email, we can come in and forward this email that we received from the copy machine to our dot loop email address. You'll notice here I've saved it as a contact under dot loop. Once we click send, that will forward this email with these attachments into our inbox in dot loop. So when I come to dot loop and I look at my inbox, I can refresh this today by clicking on templates. Here it is. That attachment comes in just like this. You'll notice it has a bunch of gobbledygook numbers rather than names. Well, I've renamed these because when I look back in here, I want to know where they've gone to. If you click on this document, you can see which, um, which file that it goes to. And if you come right over here to the right, this is where you can rename that. Now, you'll also notice this is the only place in dot loop you can delete files, which means you can keep your inbox clean if you prefer to do that. When you move these documents to a loop, they only move copies of the document, so the documents are not deleted from your inbox by moving them to a loop. Once we've got them in here, you can either move them to a loop now, which also means you can create a loop, or you can leave them in here and have them available when you go and create the loop for this file. If you're going to create a loop from your inbox, you would come here, click Copy To, and then it, just go ahead and leave this section as is, and we're copying it to a loop right here. Now it says, hey, these are your existing loops. Would you like to move it into one of these? No, we haven't started a loop for this yet. So I click right here on Create a Loop. Once I create a loop, I begin the Create Loop process by naming it and going through the steps. So you can create a loop right from that template's inbox, or you can have it there ready to grab. Now if I remember that this is here, when I'm in my loop and creating it, when I search for my documents, remember this is in your templates. So the three options to find documents are upload from your computer, email, or get from templates. If you've emailed it here, it will be in your templates. This is the email you want to remember and save in because that's an easy way to zip them in here and have them available ready to go. Hopefully this helped. Have a great loopy day.